Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brotherhood Air Jordan 1. I'm very excited to see this shoe in person and break down the styles, cuts, and materials because when it comes to materials, I heard these were really nice. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. If you're new to this channel and interested in learning more about sneakers, diving deeper into the history and knowing more about the game, this is exactly where you need to be. So consider subscribing because we are very close to a million subscribers. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We need like 800,000 more, but guess what? We getting there. So starting with the box, as you can see right here, you have your classic OG style Air Jordan 1 box, all black with the red Nike on the top with the swoosh, the Nike branding on the side, and the size tag reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG University Gold Light Bordeaux Size 11. Ah, <sighs> we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I got my size coming soon, but I gotta do these ones for now because, again, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm gonna just tell you guys now. <laughs> I got my pair online, so I'm waiting for them to come in the mail, but luckily, I was able to go to my local retail shop and grab a pair. Unfortunately, they didn't have a size 13, but that's okay. I grabbed 11. I'm gonna trade that for another 13. That way, I got a second pair to sit on ice if I like the shoe, and if I don't, I'll just use it for trade bait. Lifting open the lid of the box, you have your classic regular old white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, yeah. You got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. The leather on the toe box is kind of solid, I ain't gonna lie. These do feel better than your normal release and they got a switch up on the sock liner. I think we're up to something right here. So before I get started breaking down the styles, cuts, the materials, and all the details on the shoe, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Michael Jordan is a part of the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity. This fraternity was originally founded at Howard University on November 17th, 1911. So just by hearing that alone, we're talking about a brotherhood that has been created, established, and has grown over the past 100 plus years. There are over 750 chapters when it comes to the Omega Sci-Fi. And I think one of the most iconic fraternities when you think about African-American culture. And here's a few people you just may recognize. Steve Harvey, Ray Lewis, Vince Carter, Langston Hughes, Steve McNair, RIP Steve McNair, he's the GOAT. That was one of my favorite quarterbacks growing up. And you can't forget to mention Shaq Diesel. Now, when you look at different images that I have just shown you, you see that they have similar colors when it comes to the purple and gold or the purple and yellow, whatever you may call it. But this Bordeaux is not exactly purple. So what we're gonna do now is break down the styles, cuts, and materials, and I'll talk a little bit more about the branding of the shoe and how they went about it compared to how I think they could have done better when it comes to the whole marketing and storytelling behind this shoe. Starting with the bottom of the shoe, you have your all yellow Air Jordan 1 outsole, going up to the midsole, pure white with the white stitch, onto the upper. Like I said earlier, I really like the quality of materials. And when it comes to Jordan 1 releases over the past couple years, I would definitely say these are up there. So on the quality aspect, let's give Jordan Brand a golf clap in the comment section. Now, when you look at the overall color blocking style of this sneaker, it looks kind of similar to your bread toe style or your newer retro toe style that we see on the current releases, except for where the black area it is, you have a purple, or in this case, a light Bordeaux. Looking at the tongue of the sneaker, you have your classic white mesh, a yellow tag with a light Bordeaux Nike Air branding on the top. Now, looking at the sock liner, you see that same light Bordeaux vibe right here, similar to the upper on the shoe, but this definitely has a different material than your typical Air Jordan 1 sock liner. It almost feels like a microfiber towel, and I think these would be comfy on foot when you rock them. You have an all yellow insole with the light Bordeaux Nike Air on the inside. These come standard with a pair of Bordeaux laces and an additional two sets of white and yellow laces as well. Now, when it comes to the topic of the branding of this sneaker and how we call it the Brotherhood Air Jordan 1, yet it's not technically slated that name, I can understand why. If you put the Omega Sci-Fi logo on the side of the shoe or on top of the tongue, you might have to go through the legal issues with getting it cleared by them and everything like that. So I can understand that aspect from the brand, but I feel like when it comes to that, you think about branding, right? One thing that's commonly known with Omega Sci-Fi is they actually brand themselves with their logo on either their chest, their arm, their leg, whatever it may be, you see that branding on their body. So imagine taking that same concept of adding the branding with the logo and putting the branding right here on the back end with a nice little heel hit. I think that'd be kind of dope, but I'm sure there are a bunch of hoops that they had to jump through to even create this shoe to make it related to them without having to technically be related to them. And maybe that's why they potentially changed the color with without making it feel like more of a LA colorway and they did the Bordeaux. I feel like there were definitely some things going on over there at Brand when it came to the design process and we ended up getting this shoe, which again, I'm not mad at this at all, but I think if they wanted to really call it the Brotherhood and take it to that next level, maybe adding another keychain or branding with the logo on the shoe or a different color box or something like that to give it that more special element when it comes to this release. Let me know how you feel about that down below. Now, when it comes to this shoe being fire or trash, I'm definitely interested to hear what people have to say. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so 
you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. 66% of the people chose fire and 34% of the people chose trash. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be kind of maybe closer to a 75-25 but I can understand that a lot of people don't see themselves rocking the shoe. They may not want to relate themselves to the brotherhood of the fraternity, even though it doesn't technically have the branding on it. I don't know. There could be a lot of different reasons. And honestly, yes, this is definitely not a color that you will wear every single day. So I can completely understand why people don't like the shoe. But overall, especially when it comes to materials, I like these a lot. But I have to follow with... This is definitely not a top 10 or even a top 20 Air Jordan colorway that has ever released. So I'm gonna let you guys know that now, but hey, it is what it is. There's a lot of great Jordan ones out there and these are nice, don't get me wrong, they're definitely nice but they're not like great. So when it comes to pricing on this shoe, if you look at a size 13 right here, you can see they're going for around 275 bucks. And like all other Air Jordan ones, they're always gonna hit for over retail when the shoe drops. These did better than the previous release this month with the black and blue Air Jordan one. But again, I don't know how far these can go. Maybe because of the quality over time, people might start to appreciate them and they become like that shatter backboard type of conversation. And then people push it up there. And next thing you know, it's like a $700 shoe and everybody's trying to figure out why is this shoe $700? I could see that scenario happening happening but again I'm not exactly sure time will tell but at the end of the day I feel like these got to be at least worth 350 to 400 bucks when you give it you know maybe a year or two from now I think once a lot of people get these in hand they're gonna appreciate the qualities and they're gonna value them a little bit more than normal and one last thing to mention before I go it was cool to see these released in Black History Month saying that these are related to Omega Psi Phi one of the oldest African-American fraternities out there but one thing that I do gotta say I don't care what nobody say bruh the Black History Month threes, these things go crazy. I need to make a review about these. I don't really have a reason to, but it is Black History Month, so hopefully I can get a review for you guys out. I've had these for a really long time since they came out, and I feel like this is the best BHM Jordan that we have seen maybe ever. I don't know. I know they've been dropping a bunch of ones and stuff, but these things go crazy. Let me know how you feel about these down below. All right, y'all, I gotta go, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite movie. You got served or stomped the yard? That's a hard one. All right, y'all.